Welcome to Menopause Wise, your go-to podcast for all things evidence-based in the menopause verse. I am Dr. Sukhreet Patel, an MD gynecologist, a menopause health advocate, a postmenopausal woman, and the founder of Menopause Wise. And I'm so excited to have you join us on this journey. Whether you're a healthcare provider looking to stay on top of the latest evidence-based practices, a woman navigating your own perimenopause or menopause journey, or a partner or family member eager to support a loved one, this series is designed with you in mind. Our mission through Menopause Wise is to close the menopause knowledge gap by bringing you the latest research, expert insights and practical advice, empowering you to make informed decisions about menopause and perimenopause. Today, we are focusing on a popular herbal remedy for hot flashes, Black Cohosh or Simisifuga racemosa. Let's just call it CR. Now, for those of you who love diving into the science, stay tuned as I walk you through the science of today's topic. But if you'd rather skip straight to the takeaways, feel free to jump ahead to the end of the episode where I'll summarize actionable tips for you. Black cohosh is a plant native to North America that has long been used in traditional medicine. In modern times, it has gained popularity as a natural remedy for managing menopausal symptoms, particularly hot flashes. The herb is often marketed as a safer alternative to hormone replacement therapy. But let's see what research has to say about it. So, does black cohosh really work for hot flashes? The answer is yes and no. According to a 2023 meta-analysis published in the journal Menopause, use of black cohosh extracts has demonstrated significant improvements in reducing overall menopausal symptoms, including hot flashes. This meta-analysis, which included data from 22 randomized control trials, or RCTs, involving over 2,300 menopausal women, found that black cohosh moderately reduced the frequency and severity of hot flashes compared to a placebo. However, black cohosh did not improve the symptoms of anxiety and depression in this study. On the other hand, there is another review that analyzed over 16 randomized controlled trials of over 2,000 perimenopausal and menopausal women that demonstrate no benefit in controlling hot flashes with black cohosh. I know, it's confusing. So why is there so much variability in results? One big reason could be because formulations vary and are difficult to standardize across studies. Also, it's important to note that the efficacy of black cohosh seems to depend on the specific formulation used. You see, black cohosh refers broadly to supplements made from the Simisifuga racemosa plant, something I referred to as CR earlier. And different extraction methods and sources of the plant can result in supplements with varying concentrations of active ingredients in the plant. Now, research indicates that ICR or the isopropanolic extract of black cohosh may contain active compounds that are believed to be responsible for the effects of black cohosh on hot flashes. In fact, a 2021 review and meta-analysis about the use of ICR for menopausal symptoms highlighted that ICR was significantly superior to sugar pills or placebo in treating hot flashes and that it might be a reliable option for managing hot flashes. Studies frequently used dosages ranging from 20 to 40 mg of the standardized extract taken twice daily, which corresponds to a daily intake of 40 to 80 mg of ICR extract. Now, ICR itself contains certain active compounds called triterpene glycosides. Let's just call them TG for now. I know it's a lot to digest, but we're coming to the part that applies to you. So another aspect to consider in black cohosh supplements is the standardization of ICR with respect to TG. Since I mentioned earlier, TG is one of the active compounds in black cohosh that is believed to work against hot flashes. So why do you need to know this? Because as I mentioned earlier, not all black cohosh supplements are the same. When selecting black cohosh supplements, it's important to choose those that specifically mention the use of ICR or provide details about standardization to ensure consistency in the dosage and effects. 
Also, it is believed that ICR supplements extracted from black cohosh that are standardized to contain 2.5% or 1 mg of triterpene glycosides or TG are the ones that may be more helpful for heart flashes. So that's another detail to check on the supplement bottle before emptying your wallet. In addition to that, it's important to be cautious about the fact that some supplements may contain untested or adulterated ingredients. This means that the amount of active ingredients can vary from product to product and the efficacy and safety can be less predictable. So make sure that you are getting a high quality supplement. Another reason for the lack of consistency of the effect of black cohosh on hot flashes may be the poor understanding of how it really works. Although black cohosh doesn't function as a direct replacement for estrogen, it appears to influence temperature regulation in the brain and may interact with serotonin, a chemical that helps regulate mood and body heat. These, along with its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects, could be possible ways in which black cohosh works. However, its precise mechanism is still under investigation. When it comes to safety, black cohosh has generally been considered safe for short-term use. However, there have been concerns about potential adverse effects, particularly related to liver health. The US Pharmacopoeia even required a cautionary label on black cohosh products, warning users to discontinue use if they experience symptoms of liver trouble, like jaundice or severe abdominal pain. This warning was added because of reports linking black cohosh to liver toxicity, although these reports have been challenged to not be generalized to ICR extract, suggesting that at least this specific extract might be safer than previously thought. Another area of concern is the potential interaction of black cohosh with breast cancer. While no studies have conclusively shown that black cohosh increases the risk of breast cancer or its recurrence, lack of information about its exact mechanism of action makes it essential for women with a history of hormone-sensitive cancers to approach this supplement under the guidance of their healthcare providers. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. To wrap things up on the use of black cohosh for hot flashes, here are some key takeaways from today's episode. First, the research on black cohosh is mixed. Some studies shows it helps reduce hot flashes while others don't find much benefit. The inconsistency could be due to variations in the formulation of black cohosh supplements. Different extraction methods and concentrations of active ingredients could explain why it works for some women but not for others. ICR, the isopropanolic extract of black cohosh, has emerged as a more standardized and reliable option for managing hot flashes. Not all black cohosh supplements are created equal. Research indicates that the isopropanolic black cohosh extract, or ICR, in doses ranging from 40 to 80 mg per day, standardized to contain 2.5% or 1 mg of triterpene glycosides may be helpful in reducing hot flashes. So, be mindful about these terms on the label of the supplement before making a purchase. While black cohosh is generally considered safe for short-term use, there have been concerns about potential liver toxicity. However, clinical trials on ICR specifically have shown no significant evidence of liver toxicity, suggesting that this extract might be a safer option. While no studies have conclusively linked black cohosh to an increased risk of breast cancer, the lack of understanding about how it works means it's essential for women with hormone-sensitive cancers to consult their healthcare providers before using any black cohosh supplement. Remember, tackling hot flashes alone isn't enough. Menopause impacts your bones, heart and more. Hot flashes are just one symptom but don't forget to stay vigilant for silent issues like hypertension, osteoporosis and heart disease that can creep up during this time. And before we go, a quick medical disclaimer. The information shared in this podcast is for educational purposes only and should not be taken as medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new treatment, including herbal supplements like black cohosh, especially if you have underlying health conditions or are on any kind of medication. Thanks again for tuning in to Menopause Vice. 
Stay informed, stay empowered, and I'll see you in the next episode as we continue to navigate the menopause journey together. If you are a healthcare provider interested in collaborating with us or have insights to share, we'd love to hear from you. Please email us at info at menopausewise.com. That's wise with a Z.